Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caroline and I love to talk about nail polish and as you can see, I have quite the collection going on that really needs to be organized. Uh, this is a continuation on of the series that I have going of Organize With Me and the second part of what I'm trying to do in that Organize series is find my Enchanted Nail Polish. Enchanted Nail Polish is an indie brand or was an indie brand that ended up closing up shop I think earlier this year in 2020. 22 or maybe late 2021. So I do have a collection of over 20 polishes at this point. I did end up getting four new ones from a D stash and I can't find five from my original collection of that brand. So I've been trying to go through my very disorganized nail polishes and find those and while I'm at it sort the nail polish and set aside the brands that I already have in their own little section into that organized area like Night Owl Lacquer. Now the problem is, and the reason why it's gotten this backed up, is my plan for where to put these has shuffled around. My initial idea had been to try to do acrylic shelves like the ones behind this tote. I initially wanted those everywhere, all over my craft room in shelving, but they aren't the most cost effective. Um, so I just have the ones that I have, which is about... Mm, six or so. I think I have managed to grab a couple of more from Goodwill over the last six months or so. So then I decided I would go for um, either Helmer's or Alex's from Ikea. Well, that didn't work out because Ikea around here after 2020 hit was always out of Helmer's. And then I decided, well, you know, I actually really like the look of the Alex's better, but then the Alex's are, well, as much as the Alex's are there, I think. If you're going for the Nidro, which is what I had wanted, it's over double um, the amount that you're going to spend on a Helmer. So at the time, the Helmers were, I think, $49.99 here in the U.S., and the Nidro Alex drawers were like $150. So it's a lot more to be spending, and so I really couldn't decide if I needed to go that route. Point being, I decided to go Plan C <laughs> and go and try to find traditional furniture that could work for organizing my nail polish. Uh, I ended up going this way. I'll post a picture up there and the drawers ended up sagging. So I'm in the process of trying to figure that out. But the reason I mentioned all that is you will not see me putting these away into those drawers. So I have a number of my brands set aside on the upper shelving, which is sturdier than the drawers. And then we will go ahead and see if we can a get a little bit more organized and b find some of my enchanted nail polishes that has still managed to elude me. Uh, when I'm going through this much nail polish, I'm not going to talk too much about each polish. Otherwise, we would be here all day. I mean, you should see the size of this tote. It's probably about six or seven inches deep by 10 to 12 inches wide. It is a big tote. So let's go ahead and jump in before I start talking too much. I can already see some of my Night Owl lacquer up on top. Nope, that one's a vapid. So at least one Night Owl lacquer. And I know I have them set aside in their own section. Same with Vapid. I'm pretty sure I have Vapid set aside on their own section. Oh, I will at least try to mention the names. <laughs> so if you're curious what the Night Owl Lacquer was, that one was Breath of the Wild. And the Vapid is, oops, I wet my plants. All right, it looks like I also see at least one Zoya. Is that all that I see on top? So far, yes. Okay, so I also have Zoya set aside in their own section. This one is called Hazel. I think I'm going to put Mainstreams on my left and... Uh, no, I better reverse that. <laughs> Indies on my left, Mainstreams on my right. Okay, oh, and nope, I was wrong. Another Zoya right on top. This one is Monet. Really beautiful glitter topper there. I've got at least a couple of OPIs that I can see right off the bat. I think I've got another one buried over here, and I already see another Vapid. All right, we're going to go for these for the time being. This one is Leonardo's Model Color from OPI. The middle one is Pile on the Sprinkles from the Hello Kitty collection. And the third purple is DS Imperial. And I do have OPIs set aside in their own section. Then we've got a sweet and sour lacquer. 
a Vapid. I already know I've got those set aside. That one is Crab Nebula. And the Sweet and Sour was Up and Coming. I don't think I have them set aside yet, so I'll just put them in with my Miscellaneous Indies for the time being. Ooh, one of my Bee's Knees Lacquer. Also, excuse the fuzz. <laughs> my tote has been sitting around for a while, and it collects cat fuzz for me. Um, this one is a Magnetic called All the Dinosaurs Feared the T-Rex. I don't know why my phone's having a hard time with the focus today, but all the dinosaurs have feared the T-Rex, and I definitely have Bee's Knees set aside on their own section. We've got another Bee's Knees lacquer, also a magnetic. This one is Technomancy. Ooh, we've got one of my tonics. This one is called Superstar. I definitely have tonics set aside in their own section as well. They are one of the brands that has their own acrylic rack. We've got one from Polish. This one is called Fandango, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got polish in one of the smaller, sturdier drawers. Then I've got Cuticula. This one is Poisoned Apple. I have Cuticula set aside on their own section as well. We've got one by Danny Viana. I've got Friends from HHC. This one is another brand that I have set aside. I actually have all of my um, Brazilian brands sort of clustered together. It's for some reason it works for me to remember where all of those are. So I've got By Danny Viana, Phoenix, um, MTK, EDK, which turned into Phoenix, and I want to say there was a couple of them. Oh, Penelope Luce was uh, is the other brand that I have all clustered together in that section. We've got one by Illyrian. This one is Equinox. Illyrian's another one of those brands that I want to come back and do a showcase on because I do have quite a pretty good collection, if I may say so, of the polishes that she put out. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I can't showcase those here soon. We've got one from Femme Fatale. This one is um, Lernian. Ooh, I'm going to butcher that one, but Lernian Hydra, perhaps? Needs a good shakeup. That's a gorgeous purple polish. Femme Fatale is another brand that I do have set aside on their own. Ooh, I've got another OPI. This one is called In a Holidays. We've got a Coloris de Carol. This one is called Daisy. This one I think used to be a thermal. I got it in a mystery box, so I don't think it transitions anymore, but it's a pretty cute little color. I actually don't remember if I have Coloris de Carol set aside on their own, but if not, I'll just put them with the rest of my miscellaneous indies for the time being. Another one from Polish. This one is called Sky Glass. Really pretty flaky balm in purple. We have one from KB Shimmer. I also have them set aside in their own section. This one is called Now and Zen. Very pretty blue polish. Let's see, do I already have, do I have more that I've already pulled? Maybe. This one's another square bottle. Oh, yes. From Night Owl Lacquer. This one's Cuddles, Snuggles, and Nuzzles. Beautiful color. I would probably have this pulled out to possibly go on my fall rack. There we go. Ooh, this one looks like one of my Cadillacers. This is called Origins. This is a beautiful thermal. Really need to get this one on my nails. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cadillacer is another brand that I do definitely have set aside on its own. We've got at least one two Essies. Any more? Offhand, I'm not seeing any more, but I do see an OPI. Where did I see that? There we go. There's an OPI down there. That one is called It's a Piazza Cake. And then we've got two Essies. This one is a Tide and Blue, and the pink one is Cute as a Button. We've got another KB Shimmer. This one is called Worth a Shot. Another gorgeous shimmer polish from them. And one from Ethereal. This one is called Amphitrite. I believe I did wear this in my winter rack. Beautiful color. And they are another brand that I know I have set aside. Another Illyrian. This one is called Enchant. Again, I don't know why my phone is having a hard time focusing today, but that one is Enchant. Okay, another Femme Fatale. Maybe two? Nope. One blush, one Femme Fatale. Okay, so the Femme Fatale is called Maleficent, and the one from Blush is The Secret Door. Wow, beautiful color there. Blush I do have set aside in their own little row currently, and definitely Femme Fatale as well. 
Let's see, we've got one, another from Coloris to Carol. This one is Hyperion. I believe I got this in a D stash. I'm gonna have to start lining these up in an easier to find fashion out there. <laughs> well, let's see, do I have any others that I've already pulled? And then I can put those away. Yes, I've got one other OPI. This one is called An Affair in Red Square. Another red. Let's see. It's a light, hoot, dollish, fancy gloss. I know I have them set aside. I'm trying to find more of the brands that I've already pulled. Maybe this one? Yes. Night Owl Lacquer. This one is called Monster Mash. All right, so we do have a few polishes already pulled. Let's go ahead and put those away. All right, so we're gonna start with the ethereal. I do have them set aside and they're outgrowing their little section up here, but I do have at least room for a couple more for the time being. Then the polishes, I have those in a drawer. Got two there. And those will go in here if I can find some space. That is quickly filling up. I've got juleps on the other side if you were curious what those were. Um, another blush that ooh, is also full. I think I just recently filled that up. So we're just going to set her in there. Whoops. So we're just going to set her in there sideways, kind of, maybe, hopefully. Can you guys all play nice? Move the zombie claw aside. Kind of. Scooch. Hello. Scooch. <laughs> It doesn't want to scooch. Okay, well, it's in there somehow. Okay, two of my KB shimmers. Those are in that aisle here. Got room for a few more. They are next to my tonics. Speaking of which, here's that tonic that we pulled. We'll put that in the row there. Then two, let's see, wait a second. Do I have any more on this side? Uh, Illyrians, those went down here. Got this whole section here under the box. Those are some of my Illyrians. And then the rest of them are in this drawer. This is one of the drawers that I was telling you about that sags, so I'm not putting any more in there. I'm already worried enough as it is that that might sag even worse. Uh, we've got the By Danny Viana that goes over here. And then we've got the Coloristic Carol. I don't remember. If I have them set aside, I'm not seeing them. So I think they're going to go in with every, like all of my other miscellaneous for right now. Um, but I do have Cadillac or set aside. Where were those? Ah, yes, those were over here by my bee's knees lacquer. Speaking of bee's knees, we've got a couple of those to put away. Over here, woof, quickly running out of room. All of that is bee's knees. Yeah, I really need to get those organized. I mean, they're organized for right now, but I need to get a better situation going on for those because they're, um, yeah, they're, they're full. They're, they're full up. I only have room for like maybe two more polish bottles and that's a big old squeeze. All right. Uh, cuticula, I do have them set aside. Those were up here. Let's see which room I think that row had room there we go <laughs> uh, let's see the night owl lacquer I had three of those all right where did those go I think those were over here yes underneath my girly bits there's my girly bits <laughs> I just put a girly bit somewhere. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to track it down and find it. I was doing some side organizing and I just put one of those away. Hang on. I am running out of room in my hands. Okay. Hang on. We're just shoving those further in. Wow. And that is the end of that row and that, oof, it's the end of that row. Oh my. Okay. Here's that girly bits. So I did one small container, not nearly as big as that one all on its own. It's actually that cardboard box that you see up there. It really wasn't full enough for me to do any video of it on its own. So the only one that I really wanted to put away was this curly bit. So now I know where they are. Okay. The Femme Fatales, I've got two of those and we're just going to set them right here for now. 
I've got my little section of them here. And then we have two vapids. Those are up here. And they are currently under the tote of Jaren. So for right now, vapids are, oh my goodness, just going to get set up there. And my miscellaneous are going to be put into that tray. Essies do have their own home. Those are actually in this little tote there for right now. And OPIs and Zoyas. Zoyas do have their own section. For right now, I'm setting them here, but they do actually have their own drawer down there. I'm not too worried about that one because it's on ground level, so it's not going to sag too much more. All right. I see a fancy gloss hiding under there. This one is called Kraken. I know I have them set aside. They're currently running out of room in that little section, though. Oops. Indies to my left. <laughs> Uh, one from MJ Lacquer. This one is called Earthly Blessings. Very cute little polish. I don't think I have them set aside. I don't have too many from this brand just yet. Uh, let's see. One from A England. This one's called Maxim. Just love their holographic formulas. One from Quixotic. I definitely have them set aside in their own section. This one is called Love Potion Number 9. Beautiful color there. One from Darling Diva. This is Nightbird. Love this color. That is gorgeous. I don't think I have them set aside, so I'm going to put them in the front of the tote. and We'll, we'll just put them in my miscellaneous pile for right now. Uh, Nail Hoot. This one is called Sugar Plum. I think I have these kind of in their own section, although they're not all together. I think I have a few in my miscellaneous, a few set aside, so we'll try to get this one put into that little category I have started for them. Looks like another Night Owl, or did I say Night Owl? I meant Nail Hoot. <laughs> this one is Genesis Hollowed. And a Glam Polish. I definitely have them set aside on their own. This one is Evil Emperor Zerg. Actually, they just came out with another collection that was based on Pixar. I have to go check that out. Okay, we've got one from Kiss Gel. This one is This Romance. One of my favorite greens for fall. This is a beautiful sage. Let's see. We've got one from Sally Hansen. This one is Here to Stay. Needs a good shake up, but it's a nice grayish taupe color. Another from Polish. This one is called Plasma. Gorgeous color. One from 77 Nail Lacquer. This one's Blue Lava. I think this was the first polish that she released that had these holographic bar glitters in them, and I have been obsessed ever since. And I do have them set aside in their own section. A Dollish Polish. This one is Memento Mori. I think I have them set aside in their own section. I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, one from LA Colors. This one is called Go Getter. Another beautiful fall shade. One from Jaren. This one is Original Lust from Polish Pickup Rewind. Gorgeous color. Let's see, one from Literary Lacquers. This one is Shadow Between Us. This will go in my random stash for the time being until I can get better organized as far as going by brand. So for the time being, it'll go in my miscellaneous. One from Savannah Lacquer. This is Flipping My Fins. I think it was originally a solar and glow-in-the-dark polish. I'm not sure how well it works currently, but I don't think I have them set aside just yet. One of my juleps. I have uh, way too many of these. This one is called Petra, but I do have them set aside on their own. One from Lights Lacquer. This one is called Booze Cruise. One of my favorites. Pretty sure this made my favorite list of polishes from 2021 that I wore. Beautiful color. One from Stella Chroma. This one is the whole brevity thing. Beautiful. I, mm, I'm not sure. Yes, I do have them set aside. I just spotted them on my shelf. Let's see, we've got one from 1422. This is Ultimate Knockout. I don't think I have them set aside, so I'll put them in my miscellaneous for the time being. Oh my goodness, so much fuzz. One of my Blackheart Beauty Bottles. This one is Oil Slick Iridescent. 
I think I tried to have these set aside in one of my drawers, but again, the drawers are sagging. So for the time being, this will go in my miscellaneous mainstreams. One from Sinful Colors. This one is called Forbidden Fruit. Really pretty purple with like a copper shimmer to it. I want to say I think I have Sinful Colors set aside on their own. Another Sally Hansen. This one is called Get Down. Ooh, we've got one from Barry M. This one is called Indigo. This is beautiful. I don't think I have Barry M set aside in their own section just yet, but I don't have too many of them. They're rather hard to come by here in the States. I have managed to find some indie stashes and I got one haul of them from a random online site. That video though, I swear I put it together doesn't seem to be on my YouTube channel, so I'm not sure where that went. Uh, but in any case, I do have some, but I don't think I had enough to set them aside just yet. All right, another Zoya. This one is called Yuna. I do have Zoyas set aside on their own. Another Glam Polish. This one is called It's Showtime. This is one of those colors that just looks absolutely stunning. So many colors at once. I spy another Zoya. This one is called Issa. Beautiful purple. Oh my goodness. Love that one. All right. I see a China glaze. This one is Mustard the Courage. Must have been out for my fall rack. And I do have China glaze set aside in their own section. We've got another from Dollish Polish. This is Didn't I Fight You in a Video Game? And let's see, we've got one from EDK. This is called Brotherhood. That'll go in my little section of Brazilian polishes. And I'm not 100% sure. I keep second guessing myself. I don't know if all of the brands come from Brazil, but they're not US made and I don't think they're UK made. So that's what I know for sure. <laughs> but in any case, I will put this aside with the other brands that I have in that section. Uh, let's see. We've got a spa ritual. This one is called Intuition. I actually don't have that many from this brand either, so this will go in my miscellaneous drugstore or mainstream brands. And we still haven't found any Enchanteds. Ugh. I'm hoping. I'm hoping some of these will be will be them. But let's see. Another Zoya. This one. Ooh. It has a faded label, but this one is Anastasia. Gorgeous color. A DRK called Light Tricks. Beautiful flaky balm. We've got another Linby Designs. This one is called Obliviate. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, I definitely have them in their own section. And we've got one from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This one is called Pumpkin Head, and it's a magnetic. Needs a good shake, but looks like it's moving around better than I originally thought it was. Uh, this one I definitely have set aside on its own. One from Baroness X. This is called Live Long and Posper. This one came from the one and only box that I ever got from them. I, I need to see about checking into what they still do if they still have their boxes, but it was a really cool Cats in Space themed box. So this is like Star Trek play on words. I just thought that was hilarious. Okay, so Baroness X. And a zombie claw. This one is Snow Leopard Cuddles. Very cute color. And I'm pretty sure I have them set aside on their own. Let's see. We've got one from Native War Paints. This is He Protect, He Attack, He Eat. Frog for Snack. This one was based on Baby Yoda or the child as we knew him before we knew that his name was Grogu. Very cute little polish there. And I don't, I don't think I actually have Native War Paint set aside on their own section just yet. Let's see, we've got another from Colores de Carol. This one is called Where Are You? Actually a very unique polish. I wanted to wear this for fall, but I don't think I ever did get around to it. We've got another Linby Designs. This one is called A Bit Nippy. Very pretty. Another Dollish Polish. This one is Once Upon a Dream. Beautiful flaky balm there in like a teal green. We've got a Color Club. Do I see any more Color Clubs? I see at least two. Let's set those aside. Do I see more? Yes, I do. 
So we've got four. My hands are full, so that's where we're going to leave it. I do see one over there. But the holographic on the left is Sidewalk Psychic. Then the Glitter Bomb in green is Turned Up. The orange with the glitter in it is Back to the Grind. And then our Shimmer Glitter Bomb is called Seriously Fun. So I do have Color Club set aside on their own section. We'll go ahead and pull the other one that I spy. And that one was called Rar. So this is one that has little leopard spots in it, which I don't think ever comes across very well on camera, but they're little leopard spot glitters. Any more color clubs? Uh, not that are jumping out at me anyways, but that doesn't mean they're not hiding away. Uh, I do see another Berry M. This one is called Blackberry. And a color club right in my hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, I told you. It didn't mean that there wasn't there wasn't some there. It was the fact that it's a different lid that totally threw me. This one is in the limelight. All right, and then we've got two from Quixotic at least. And I see an enchanted. I just spotted an enchanted. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> this one is Sweet Dreams Are Made of These. And this one is Volatile. So two Quixotics that I definitely have set aside on in their own section. And we're just going to pull out this Enchanted that I spotted. <laughs> so happy to finally have found this. This one is called Candied Opal. Beautiful, beautiful color. Wow. Cannot wait to showcase these for you guys. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, can we find more? <laughs> oh, let's see. We've got one from Fun Lacquer. This one is called Northern Lights. I don't have too many by this brand either to set them aside in their own section, so they're going to go in my miscellaneous for the time being. And let's see, I've got one other Sinful Colors, just one more from Sinful Colors. This one's Coffee Drip, part of their scented collection that came out a while back. And let's see, let's pull any more that I already have. I think I've got another nail hoot here. This one is Should You Need Us, a really beautiful green. Let's see, I've also got A England out, and I'll be putting those away. So do I have any more A Englands to pull from this tote? Not that I see, but I do spy another two nail hoots. So we've got Genesis, and it's a piece of cake. All right, so that I think is enough for right now. I'm going to go ahead and put some more polish away. So we're going to start over here with our indies. We've got three lined up from Dollish Polish. Those, I believe, are tucked up here. That tote is going to have to be reorganized because I have them sort of lined up. But I'm running out of room. So for right now, Dollish Polish is going to be sort of set on top. Um, I did have a J-Rain that I pulled, didn't I? Yes, right there. That'll go up there. And then, let's see, EDK and DRK are going to go over here. I think the DRK is running out of room in that section, that whole row's full. So maybe I'll set them, hmm, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just start another tiny little row up front. Not that that's going to hold too many. And the EDK is going to go somewhere over there. Our Linby designs, I had them up here. They've got three full rows, but then down here, I've been putting them here. So we've got just a few. We're gonna fill up this row right here with those two that I pulled from the box. And then polish. The polish, again, is gonna go in the drawer along with the julep that we pulled. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to go there. It's one of the things I don't like about the Julep bottles is they knock over quite easily. Uh, let's see, Fancy Gloss. That is over here. And as you can see, it is pretty full. There is room right in front. Oh, that makes me a little bit nervous. There we go. I'm just going to set that right in front. Uh, let's do the color clubs. The color clubs are all going to go down there. I need to have it... It, with its own uh, box or something here. 
really soon, but that is that. Sorry, I think most of that was out of camera, but there you go. These Zoyas are going to go over here, getting two full rows. I'm going to have to put those down in their drawer here pretty soon. Uh, one from Lights Lacquer. Pretty sure I spied those over here, but that row is pretty full. I don't have any room for them up there, so ooh, for the time being, it's going to go in my miscellaneous. Um, the sinful colors can go down here. Oh, it looks like I got full on those as well. So <laughs> they're just going to go right in there for the time being. The China glaze, pretty sure had its own section right there. And... Let's see, 77 Nail Lacquer had its own section right in there. All my lined up polishes are starting to shuffle. Uh, we've got two from Glam Polish. Where did I have those? Those I believe were over here in its a little drawer. And there's room for two more, just two more. Oh, nope. Now there's room for two more. <laughs> there was room for four. Perfect. Okay. Then we've got a pretty beautiful Unlimited. This one can go over here. Again, it's another brand that I am quickly filling up on the small sections that I allocated for it. So it's just going to have to go right there. Stella Chroma. That one goes up here next to my Live Love Polish. And zombie claw. Did I have them? Yes, I did have them set aside there right here. And nail hoots. Those are the ones that kind of sort of sort of have their own section right up here. So we're gonna line them up best we can. Pie colors. I think I'm just gonna have to put pie colors in my miscellaneous, but I was trying to keep this out and about because it's just a gorgeous color. That one is, it was Agatha all along. It's just a stunning, stunning color. I hate to just hide her away, but well, I'm just going to set her there for the time being. Uh, okay, two more from Nail Hoot. Line up nicely there, and they're small little scroll bottles. Three from Quixotic. Quixotic's another brand that I have up here in my tote that is overflowing. So at least they're with their families now. Yeah. Uh, and then A England. I thought I had them set aside on their own, but I'm not spying them. So it's going to go with miscellaneous. So the miscellaneous is going to go get put in a tote. And we're going to move along to organizing more polish because this video is already ridiculously long. All right, we've got one from LA Colors. This one is called Temptation. Another from Polish. I do have those set aside, as you know. That is brand new bubbles. I've got a sinful colors. I've got those set aside as well. That one is orange. And it looks like I forgot to put all of my mainstreams away. Oh well. Uh, let's see. I've got a moonshine manny. This one is bossy ladies. I definitely have them set aside. They are another one that needs its own. Helmer drawer sooner or later. Another Moonshine Manny. I just ethics to you in the face. <laughs> Every time I read that, I just, it's just hilarious. It makes me laugh. I just ethics to you. Okay. Um, didn't I see more Moonshine Manny or am I just seeing things at this point? I thought I saw more Moonshine Mannies, but maybe not. Um, another square bottle from Night Owl Lacquer. This one is Pumpkinhead Harvey. You've seen me put some of those away. I have another to add to that section, looks like. We've got another Enchanted. <laughs> Yay! All right. I must have had these out for like my fall or winter racks. Okay. This one is Gingerbread Opal Latte. Wow. Beautiful color. Yay! Two Enchanteds in one box. All right. Can we find a third? Maybe? Ha! <gasps> Yay! 
Okay, it had to have been that these guys were out for a winter rack or fall rack or something like that. This one is called Icelandic Sky. I knew they were somewhere. Beautiful. Okay, that's three. Wow. Okay, that means we are only missing two more. That's a lot better. Okay, uh, we've got a Femme Fatale. This one is Current Wine. You've seen me put some of those away. We've got an EDK Snakes. I definitely have them in their own section. Ooh, another one of my Live Love polishes. Yeah, definitely fall rack. That's what my guess is because this is definitely one I would have on, on my fall rack. This one's called Molten. Another EDK. This is called Fall Colors. Again, leading me to think that I had all these colors out for fall. <laughs> and then this is where they ended up getting put away. Another Fair Maiden. This one is called Mind Freak beautiful color and I know I wore this one in my fall rack uh let's see we've got a bee's knees lacquer this one is a girl is area stark I definitely as you saw have my bee's knees set aside and I don't think I have a room for too many more over there um one from super chic lacquer this is zombie crush I don't have too many from them so I don't have their own section so they'll go in my miscellaneous this one is by Pretty and Polished. This one is called Popples. Again, I don't have uh, this brand set aside, I don't think. Or do I? Do I? Kind of. I sort of kind of do. It's actually over there. All right. And then we've got a couple of SCs. A few SCs. See, at least three right off the hand. Nope, four. Okay, so we've got this one here on my right is Cote Couture. The green one is Exposed. The red one with glitter is Toggle to the Top. And our gray shifter polish is For the Tool of It. And again, with if any of these are not in focus, my apologies. I don't know what is with my camera today. <laughs> All right, we've got another Zoya. This one is called Marlowe. Still need to wear this one. That one is so beautiful. Oh, I almost got excited. I thought we had another, another enchanted. This one is by Schlee. This one is Life uh, Finds a Way. I thought I started to put these by in their own section, but we'll see. We'll see if I can't find them. One from Nail Artisan Cosmetics. This one is Panthers on the Prowl. I don't think I have them set aside either. They'll go in my miscellaneous. Another orange from Pretty and Polished. This one is called Pumpkin Spice. I've got those set aside here on my desktop. And another from Schlee. This one is called Rustic. Very unique shade there. One from Polish Me Silly, Dynamite. I've got them kind of sort of set aside over here. Um, let's see, we've got one from Illyrian. This one is Moonlit. And we've got one from Nailed It. I have them set aside as well. This one is called Raised by Wolves. Absolutely stunner of a color there. And let's see, we've got one from ILNP. This one is called Sitting Fireside. Another beautiful fall polish. We are definitely going through some <laughs> fall colors today. We've got one from Lip Polish. This is Mystery Prototype. Very, very cool. And I don't believe it. Another Enchanted. This one is Entwined. How many was that? Is that four? And I already see the fifth. Ha. Huh. All of... Should have known. All of, the, all of the Enchanted polishes that I couldn't find were in my fall rack. What do you know? Or at least polishes I had pulled with considerations to wearing in the fall. Uh, so yeah, that is number four, Entwined. And we're just going to go right to the fifth one. And to complete the ones that we're missing, we have Iridescent Opalescence. This one was one of my favorites. I was very, very happy when I found this in a D-stash. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that should be it. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be missing any more enchanted nail polishes. There you go. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Continuing with our organizing. Uh, we've got one from Fair Maiden. This one is Hello Clarice. Really got to put this one on my nails as well. Fair Maiden is here somewhere. 
we've got another from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This one was doorbuster number two. Let's see if I can't find room for them over there. Uh, one from Bluebird Lacquer. This one is double stuffed Oreo. Very pretty. I actually do have them set aside right over here in their own little section on my desktop. Another from Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is the Book of Horror. Beautiful fall color for sure. And let's see, we've got one from Hard Candy. This one is called Beetle. One from Carpe Noctum Cosmetics called Midnight Violence. This is another brand that I'm not really sure if it makes polish anymore. I want to say I have maybe two bottles of them from them but very cool. I actually really like this shape of bottle too. This was one of the bottle shapes I was considering when I was uh, trying to decide what bottle shapes I wanted to do for my brand. Still not sure. <laughs> Another from ILNP. This one is called Glory. Really pretty. And we've got one from a Lollipop Posse Lacquer. This one is called Frost Crag Spire. Definitely have them set aside in their own section. And we've got one from, I never know how to pronounce this, Illuminate. Uh, no, it's not. Illumite, Illumite. This one is called Melancholia. Still need to get this one on my fingers. It's such a beautiful polish. All right. Next up is Quixotic. This one is called Glitterfly very pretty and I obviously have those set aside on their own section as well and let's see one from girly bits this is destination serenity so much fuzz oh my gosh I'm so sorry so fuzzy okay another polish me silly this one is poker face there we go I knew there was more moonshine manis in here I thought I saw them this is a moonshine manny combustion imminent needs a very good shake but very cool polish there and we've got one from uh, Mary Kay. This one is called Rosy Sands. I think this might be my only bottle from this brand. And Emily Damali. This one is called Glances to Stairs. Very pretty polish. And I definitely have my Emily Damali's set aside in their own section. One from Born Pretty. I think this is my only polish from them. This one is called, not called anything, so it's number 410. Uh, it's a stamping polish, probably got it on uh, eBay. We've got a couple from Jessie's Girl. The mermaid color is called Glee, and the matte purple is Blue Moon. We've got an OPI, is that the only one left in here? I think so. So this one is called Peace and Love and OPI. We've got one from Necessary Evil. I think this was before the name change to Paradox Polish. This one is Welcome to the Danger Zone. We've got one from Top Shelf Lacquer. I think I have them kind of set aside on their own. This is Picture Perfect. One from Linby Designs. This one is Solve Me a Crime, Sherlock Holmes. As you saw, I do have them set aside as well. Another from Cupcake Polish. This is Can You Dig It? Definitely have them set aside on their own. A Dawn Diva. This one is called Mermaid Scales and Flounder Tails. Very, very pretty polish. And let's see. One from Ethereal, two from Ethereal. We've got Zenobia here on my left and Night Frost on my right. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I have them set aside in their own section. Probably running out of room in it. Uh, one from Delush. This is Master of Wine. And we've got one from Bees Knees Lacquer. This is Rhino Boys. It's a UP polish and is absolutely gorgeous. All right, that's, I think, going to fill up my bees knees to the limit. I'm going to have to start stacking them. Um, we've got one from Lemming Lacquer. This is a lively dress, and it's a magnetic from Polish Pickup. i got to get this one on my nails. I was super excited about this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another Essie. 
two more essays. So this one here on my left is Merino Cool and the grayer polish is Winning Streak. And we've got one from J. Rain. This one is Parabellum. Pretty sure I have quite a few from the John Wick collection. They have amazing polishes. A couple more from Sinful Colors. The uh, brownish color is Copper A Feel, and the darker brown is Smoky Palo Santo. Then we've got one from KL Polish. This one is called Zoe. I have them actually right up here in my one of the sections on my desktop. We've got one from CK. This one is called, oh wow, cannot, cannot read that, polyester. Polyester. Whew. And I'm just going to start stacking up some of my miscellaneous ones in this tote because we're getting to be a ridiculously long, lengthy video here. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to have a chance to put too many of these miscellaneous ones away anyways. Um, so we're just going to use this one as another catch-all until I can get my drawers situated. Um, another Kiss Gel. This one is Silence. I grabbed these when I found them at the Dollar Tree, and these were probably the, one of the only instances where I've seen them that they actually had names on them. I don't know. Don't know why. Um, a China Glaze. This one is called I Love Your Guts. Really cool textured uh, matte finish. And I do have China Glaze set aside on its own, so I will pull that one out. One from Butter London. This is a British Racing Green. A Pure Ice. I should have them set aside in their own section, but I don't know that I do. This one is Periwinkle in Time. A Clean Colors. This one is called Cherry Mocha. I don't know why it's called that because it's not in the, the least bit a cherry color, but there you go. One from Avon. This one is called Saturn. It's one of their holographic, like scattered holographic formulas. One from Nine Zero. This is Pumpkin Everything. I was super excited to get a hold of this. And actually, I think at this point, I might have two polishes, two bottles of it, because I think I got another one in a D-stash in like one of my mystery bundles. Two from Koki Cosmetics. The lighter one is called Indulge, sort of a berry shade. And then the darker purple is Darling Dahlia. Two very pretty colors there. We've got at least a couple from Sally Hansen. The brighter pink here is called Jewel Very Cherry, and the one with a shimmer top is Pumped Up Pink. Then we've got one from LA Colors. This is called Passion Play. That's a really pretty one. If I didn't have this one on my fall rack, I will next, next fall, this fall, this upcoming fall. <laughs> Very pretty. Uh, another China Glaze. This is Cowboy Bye. We've got one from Sally Hansen. This one is called Beautiful Berry. A finger paints called Paint Me Purple. A Black Dahlia Lacquer called Black Magic. A little teeny tiny Sally girl. Never did find any of these in a full size. This one was called Spice. Very cute little color. Another Pure Ice. This one is called In Vogue. This one was actually one of my favorites that I wore in 2020. I think it was 2020. No, you know what? It could have been earlier than that. It had to have been 2019. Favorite, favorite color from Pure Ice that I've worn so far. Absolutely gorgeous fall shade. One from Hearts and Glass. This one I don't think had a name on it. Found these at Grocery Outlet a couple of years back. The lack of name really drives me nuts, but this particular shade is gorgeous, so I kept it. Uh, another from LA Colors. This one is Vanilla Latte. One from Urban Outfitters. This one is called Cyber. One from Essence. This one is called Say My Name. Very pretty dark green. One from Colt Nails. Found this one in a D stash. This is Vicious. Gorgeous, deep, but like rich color. And one from Rogue Lacquer. I do have these guys set aside in their own section. This one is London Eve. If it's not Eve, it's I. 
But in any case, beautiful color there. I do have them set aside in their own section. And then the last one in our tote for today is called Topless, and it is from LA Colors. There we go. Okay, well, that's whew, a lot of polish. Let's go ahead and quickly put some of these away, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, so I don't know that I'm going to put all of these away. We had quite a lot going on in this in that tote. Uh, nailed it, I know, was over here, but again, I'm running out of room. We're going to set her right there. My two bees knees lacquer. Let's see, did I have two? No, I had room for like one, one and a half. One and a half. Ah. Okay, she's okay. This was your golden trader. Thank goodness she is okay. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Nope, there is just not enough room to put one other polish there. So you know what? She's gonna sit very safely behind the Cadillacers for the time being until I can figure something out. Okay. Um, my Illyrians, I think I did have two, didn't I? Or did I? No, that was from the first round, right? <laughs> okay, so I think those are going to go down here. The Linby designs were sort of say, sitting there. Our Lollipop Posse Lacquer goes up here with the Garden Path Lacquer, which is what they rebranded as. And... I think I did pull a cupcake, so while I have the drawer open, we'll put this one away in here. Then we've got our rogue that will go up here. And ethereals. Pulled a couple of those. Those will go up here. And again, running out of room, so hopefully that fits. Another from Girly Bits. That one goes up here. And a fuzzy Live Love polish is going to get stacked up here. Hopefully nice and safe. Um, my EDK is that whole rack up there. Getting to it is the fun part. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh my. Kind of. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, so we had a thumb tall. Those were quickly taking up space there. Two more EDKs. Those are going to be up here. I have to somewhat reorganize those when I have the chance. Uh, Fair Maidens, those are up here. I think so far I've just had the little square bottles up there. And then my Moonshine Manny will go right there and a quick sonic up there in my overflowing tote and another night owl lacquer we'll see if we can't squeeze another one in here Ooh, i don't think so i think that's backed up so we're gonna put her next to our beats knees oops if we can oh my tight squeeze okay and then one more before we end up wrapping this up we've got polish going into a drawer. All right, so the rest of these are gonna be my miscellaneous. Um, the Essie's has homes. Um, the Essie has a home as does the Zoya and the Sinful Colors and China Glaze. Uh, but you've basically seen where a lot of those are living for right now. They're in miscellaneous totes. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a lot of polish to go through. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below which ones were your favorites or if you saw any brands that you haven't seen in a while. And we are also done with our enchanted hunt. We have all of my enchanted polishes. So the video of all of these guys is going to be coming up here soon. So make sure to, to uh, keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you in that next video.